Well, hey there guys, welcome to my channel. And this is my very first talk on anything about nutrition or food or anything like that. So I thought I would just take a minute and answer some questions that I get every once in a while. Not that I'm in amazing shape, but a lot of people will ask me what it is that I eat. What's my diet? What do I do? What do I think about this? What do I think about that? I'm just gonna tell you what I do. Uh, in this video and so basically it's really pretty simple and it started after I had my daughter Evelyn I decided that I couldn't I wasn't in my 20s anymore and when I broke into 30 I realized I couldn't just eat what I wanted to and exercise and be just fine so I decided that I had to change something and unfortunately that was the way that I ate and I love to eat I love food I have all different kinds of food I really love chocolate so as I broke into these moments where I was just like, wow, I really need chocolate. It was a journey. It didn't start all at once. So I had my daughter in January of 2019 and I started something where I decided I could have sweets on the weekends. Um, probably about six months after having her, I decided that I could have whatever kind of sweet I wanted on the weekends, but Monday through Thursday, I could not have sugar. So I did that for a while for probably three months. And then that changed now it's a little longer than three months. It's probably another five months. And then that changed. And I decided that to reach my next goal, and I was exercising this whole time to reach my next goal, I decided to go ahead and cut out sugar, except for on Friday, I could have whatever kind of sugar I wanted on Friday. And then on Saturday and Sunday, I could only have things sweetened with honey and agave. And I did that for a couple months. And now I've moved into basically kind of having one thing that's really sweet if I want it on Friday. And from there, I just do sweeten stuff with agave and honey and dark chocolate on Saturday and Sunday. Because sweets are my big thing. That's not everybody's big thing. So basically, here's what my diet looks like. In the morning, when I get up, I work out. And after I work out, and I get my daughter up, we have breakfast. I usually have two, yes, I eat the same thing pretty much every single day except for Friday, which sometimes is pancake day. And I'll explain my cheat pancakes to you as well. But usually I have two egg whites that I just, I use butter, I don't use olive oil, I don't prefer that taste and it's such a small amount of butter that really it's negligible and the fat isn't really that bad from what I'm getting. So. I have two egg whites and I have a piece of toast and I have that killer Dave's killer bread, the thinly sliced multigrain one. And I put a very thin layer of peanut butter and just a little dab of agave, not a full size serving, which is two tablespoons, by the way. I just put a little bit of, there, of that on there and then I smear it on. And then I have a bowl usually of fruit an acai bowl, and then I put some strawberries and blueberries and blackberries, whatever I have, blackberries, I put a little bit of coconut shavings on it, and that's breakfast. Uh, and then I have a snack, usually around 10 o'clock, because I'm really hungry, and I eat around 6.45 in the morning or 7, depending on when my daughter wakes up and how quickly I can make breakfast. And then I have lunch around 12, 12.30 if I can wait. I get hungry. Um, my snack usually consists of some kind of, there's a specific granola bar that I eat that doesn't, isn't sweetened with sugar and doesn't have, uh, grains in it. Cause I have an issue with oats. It's really sad for me because oats are in everything that you want to eat. That's healthy. Just so you know, that has protein, but I found out oats really have a problem with my stomach. We'll talk about that later. And then lunch is usually some kind of protein with a vegetable uh, my meals are mostly protein, except for my morning meal, which is a little bit of protein, but more carbs because of the calories I burn with my workout. I just have to get carbs back in or have no energy during the day. And then dinner is generally, if I have a snack, I have a Lara bar or something in between lunch and dinner, depending on how full I am from lunch. And then I will have dinner, which is generally close to the same thing as lunch. I might have, I found I can eat farro. So sometimes farro is in there. Tonight we had some Greek chicken with no tzatziki sauce or anything like that. And it just um, seasoned Greek chicken with a little bit of feta and a little bit of farro. And that was dinner. And I'm probably going to have an acai bowl after this. 
half of one because I'm still really hungry. <laughs> I'm telling you I eat all the time, but that's what my day looks like. So what do I do? What do I pay attention to? I pay attention to the very simple things, which are serving sizes. Um, if I want something healthy, I, especially those recipes on Pinterest that say, this is healthy. Even my chocolate chip cookie dough hummus recipe that I put up on this channel is healthy, but you can't just sit there and eat the whole thing. Because if you look at a serving of garbanzo beans and look at how much, how many calories, how many, how much protein, whatever's in there, you've got to weigh that against what you're eating during the day. So serving sizes is so important. I pay attention to those, which is why I know that a serving size of agave is two tablespoons. And um, once you see the amount of sugar in that serving size, you go, oh, if I want this, I can't have that much. I can just have a little bit. Uh, so that's kind of how I do that. It's really kind of simple. I eat when I'm hungry. I know what works for my body at this point, and it's all about experimentation. I think the biggest key for me and the challenge I'm going to leave you guys with after this video, like I said, this is just a real quick introduction and I'm just telling you what I do. I also don't drink soda. When I have coffee, I use almond milk if I want it. Usually I just have black coffee in the morning. That's pretty much it. I might have a latte with some espresso, but it's literally just almond milk and two shots of espresso. Um, unsweetened almond milk, sugar. I have to pay attention to my sugar. Um, but then as I go through my day, I really just don't have anything other than water. I put some meal in my water because sometimes I get tired of just water. Um, I've made myself like coconut water because I need the electrolytes because I find that I've, cr I've been cramping a lot more, uh, due to the workouts that I've been doing and just the, it's hot outside and all the sweat that happens when I work out and I'm trying to move around a lot during the day um, and sometimes to a fault and it's just ridiculous I just sometimes need to stop moving but to make sure I get those electrolytes I am having coconut water but I am paying attention to the coconut water calories and the serving size of that which is not just usually that one carton there's usually two servings in that so I might have half of it uh, because I don't really want to get all the carbs and the sugar all at once um, if I want that whole thing I usually will have half of one during the day I've also found the Vita Coco water that's got sparkling like seltzer Vita Coco water is phenomenal. It's only 25 calories and it's sweet and it doesn't have sugar. It has like a gram of sugar uh, and it's amazing and it has the electrolytes. It's the downfall is that it's expensive uh, and it's hard to find. I got some on Amazon finally because they were on sale at Fry's for like a dollar a can for a while and now they're like two nineteen a can. I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that. So the downfall of that one is how expensive it is. But that's kind of what I do. I pay attention to what I'm drinking. That is huge. If you're having a lot of coffee in vente sizes or large sizes and you're doing that every single day with the sweeteners, the caramel macchiatos and pumpkin spice latte I found out today is coming out next week. So uh, there will be the that happening in my life. But again, that will be on a Friday. And that will be my sweet treat for a Friday. And I will just pay attention to everything else that's around it. So it's really about choices and priorities and what you want to sacrifice and what you don't want to sacrifice. So I'm going to talk about that in a later video. So I'm not going to go into depth on that. But the challenge for you for the month after you watch this, I don't know when you're going to watch it. After you watch this for a month, my challenge to you is to pick one thing. If your thing is potato chips, don't eat potato chips for the month. Or do what I did and say on the weekend, I can have some potato chips. But for the week, I have no potato chips. If it's sugar like me, do the same thing I did. Cut something out for a few days during the week. You can't cut everything out at once. I feel like people fail because they try to go from eating, just eating out, eating takeout, eating canes, eating pizza, eating all kinds of stuff during the week, Chick-fil-A and in and out and all this stuff. And then they go, oh, I'm just going to eat salad and smoothies. They last like three days because you've made such a drastic change. Your body can't handle it and you decide it's not worth it because you don't have any energy and the food doesn't taste the same and you just aren't happy. 
So I challenge you to take one thing and change it this month and stick with it for a month, only four weeks, guys. Think about it like that. For some reason, four weeks sounds better than one month. I don't know why one month sounds longer than four weeks. 30 days, check them off. I don't know. 31 days, check them off. It's okay. You'll be fine. One month, just try it out. Uh, Let me know what you're going to cut out in the comments on this video because I would love to know and love to journey with you. I'd love to pray for you about this. I know that that sometimes can sound weird to people, but this is a struggle for a lot of people. They struggle with body image. They struggle with wanting to eat. They struggle with social eating. They struggle with just all kinds of things, depression, overeating, just emotional eating. I know food is a difficult subject and I know a lot of people are like, I just want to live my life and eat and be happy. And that's fine. If that's your choice, do that. But if you want to make a change and if you want to try to take steps towards being healthier, it takes steps. It's not a giant leap because most of the time you're not going to jump as far as you think you can jump. And most of the time when you try to jump too far, you're going to fall. So take small steps choose one thing. Let me know what you're doing so I can personally be praying for you about that. And just talk to me, ask me questions. I'm here to support you. If you need me to ask you, Hey, how you doing on this? Let me know. I will do that. I would love to be your accountability partner in this, but this is not a scientific video. This is legitimately just how I eat. And it's not a specific diet because I have tried to do that and it doesn't work for me. I have found what works best for my body. That might not work best for your body. You might be on a diet that you're doing and you're loving. Let me know, comment below, let other people get ideas of what they can do, but comment on things that have been helping you for a while, not something that you've done for a week uh, and seen some quick results because I want people to have things that have really been tried and tested and you have good experience in because those are the best ways for other people to try stuff out and to have support because encouragement and support in the world of eating and fitness and just life is so important. So today, guys, I just am so excited that you decided to tune into this video Next week, I'm going to come at you with a little more science behind what I'm saying and maybe some ideas of what a meal plan for the week could look like. Uh, I'm going to be posting some fun recipes that you can do that should be pretty easy to make, shouldn't take you too long. I'm here to help you guys out from whatever experience that I have, from whatever education that I have, because I feel called to encourage you. If you're watching this video, I have been specifically called to encourage you at this time. So thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can get more videos and more of me rambling on about food and fitness and God and how much I just love life and I'm grateful to be alive. So thank you guys so much. Check out my next video. I'm running out of things to say. I have no teleprompter. I'm going to stop talking now.